By signing Dante DiVincenzo to a four-year contract during the offseason, the Knicks aim to deepen their roster and bolster their reserves. However, DiVincenzo has surpassed these initial expectations in his first season, becoming a key player for the Knicks, much to everyone's surprise. His outstanding play has drawn widespread notice, a level of attention new to him. We will explore what has transformed in DiVincenzo's game. The Knicks this season have truly defied expectations in the NBA, aggressively enhancing their team by wisely selecting key players to join their ranks. The strategic addition of OG Anunobi seems to be a perfect fit, and Bojan Bogdanovic and Alec Burks were acquired without forfeiting a first-round pick, exemplifying the team's shrewdness. Yet, injuries have benched noteworthy players such as Mitchell Robinson, Julius Randle, and OG. During these challenging times, the spotlight has turned to Dante DiVincenzo, who has risen as a key contributor exactly when required. Dante DiVincenzo has always been a proficient three-point shooter, known for his active and relentless style on the court. Recently, Opponents have intensified their defensive efforts against him, marking a shift in how he is perceived in the league. These new strategies against him underline how deadly of a player DiVincenzo is becoming. On the court, DiVincenzo is the center of attention, with rival players closely marking him, aiming to thwart his every shot, reflecting a strategic shift in handling his skilled play. Guarding him isn't just about preventing his three-point attempts anymore. It's about keeping the ball out of his hands completely. In recent games, DiVincenzo has been on fire, averaging an impressive 26.5 points and four assists since key players like OG and Randall have been sidelined. His accuracy from beyond the arc has been stellar, shooting over 40% on three-pointers in the past eight games. But what's truly remarkable is his consistency. He's sinking an average of 5.3 long-range shots per game out of more than 13 attempts, placing him second only to the legendary Steph Curry during this period. Moreover, his playing time has been at an all-time high, clocking in at 40.4 minutes per game, second only to his teammate, Precious Achua. Head coach Tom Thibodeau recognizes DiVincenzo's stellar performance, describing it as his best stretch of basketball. However, with newfound success comes added pressure. Defenses are now zeroing in on DiVincenzo, employing aggressive denial tactics to disrupt his game. This version of DiVincenzo is one we haven't seen before. In his current form, DiVincenzo has evolved transitioning from a mere role player to being a pivotal player for the Knicks. His ability to adapt and thrive under pressure is indicative of his development. One significant change in his game is the adjusted three-point shooting strategy, taking more shots from the corner, resulting in increased efficiency. He's no ordinary player anymore. Now, he's a player whose scoring skills opponents aim to disrupt through meticulous game planning. His role has grown, from catch-and-shoot routines to more frequent pick-and-rolls and drives to the basket. With Randall unable to play, the Knicks have had to alter their strategy for creating three-point opportunities. DiVincenzo has taken up the challenge, becoming indispensable in their new approach focusing more on transition play. He now uses defensive movements to his advantage, translating aggressive defense into opportunities, underscoring his strategic growth and impact. DiVincenzo's development is not just about enhanced ball handling. It includes strategic shifts in positioning. His choice to stay closer to the three-point line shows his understanding of space creation for his teammates. His newfound positioning tactics draw defenders out, opening up driving lanes, especially for players like Jalen Brunson. Lastly, DiVincenzo has utilized pick-and-rolls to his advantage, urging his teammates to set screens that spread the defense and provide him with more space to navigate. This tactical maneuver forces defenders to stick close by, a crucial aspect of the team's offensive strategy amid a spate of injuries. DiVincenzo is aware of the shift and embraces it as an essential component of the Knicks' gameplay, especially amidst the recent injury challenges.
Before we move on, we know you wouldn't want to miss out on more exclusive content like this. So, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the latest in the world of the Knicks. Let's continue. Heading towards the playoffs, as the Knicks approach full strength with players recovering from injuries, Dante DiVincenzo's eye-catching numbers could take a dip as his role shifts to the fourth option in the lineup. However, the skills he's displayed thus far remain crucial for the Knicks' playoff aspirations. DiVincenzo's influence on the floor is noteworthy. His ability to draw attention from defenses provides Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle with the breathing room they need to excel, enhancing the Knicks' offensive flow. Should opponents allocate extra resources to contain him, DiVincenzo stands ready to capitalize, offering a safety valve that can alleviate pressure and unlock scoring avenues for his team. His knack for handling aggressive defensive schemes is another asset. DiVincenzo's has shown an increased ability to pierce through defenses. This is evidenced by his remarkable increased efficiency finishing near the hoop, a 60% success rate from within three feet. This facet of his game not only diversifies the Knicks' attack, but also ensures that he remains a formidable threat in any role he assumes. During the playoff run last season, the Knicks' weak outside shooting was exploited, especially by the Miami Heat in the second round, who pressured Brunson and challenged the Knicks to succeed from the three-point line. This tactic resulted in the Knicks hitting just 29.9% of their shots from distance, the lowest in that playoff stage. The playoffs highlighted the necessity for a reliable secondary playmaker on the perimeter to alleviate the pressure on Brunson. Faced with a strategic adjustment from the Cleveland Cavaliers, who doubled and trapped Brunson in the first round, coach Tom Thibodeau creatively adapted. By having R.J. Barrett and Josh Hart screen for Brunson, Thibodeau opened up the floor, enabling Barrett to shine, either by taking on scoring duties or by facilitating for others. This strategic maneuvering underscored the importance of versatility and adaptability in playoff basketball. Dante DiVincenzo's impressive performance and readiness to step up could very well position him as this crucial secondary playmaker in the upcoming playoffs. His ability to handle pressure, combined with his recent form, signals that DiVincenzo is primed to embrace and excel in this role, offering the Knicks a dynamic offensive weapon as they aim for a deeper playoff run. Despite Dante DiVincenzo's recent impressive performances, things haven't been so good for the Knicks. The Knicks faced a turbulent period before the All-Star break, grappling with a slew of injuries that hampered their performance on the court. Coach Tom Thibodeau witnessed his team falter, losing five of their last seven games, including a disheartening four-game losing streak. At the heart of the Knicks' defensive strategy is OG Anunobi, whose absence was acutely felt during this difficult period. OG's defensive contributions are vital to the Knicks, and without him, the team appeared significantly diminished. OG's defensive impact registered a remarkable plus-minus of plus 252 within his first 14 games, surpassing Rashid Wallace's former benchmark from his days with the Pistons. The Knicks' recent losses were not just numbers on a scoreboard, but were particularly concerning due to the caliber of the teams they fell to, such as the Dallas Mavericks, Indiana Pacers, Houston Rockets, and Orlando Magic, all of which were ranked sixth or lower in their respective conferences at the time. The defensive lapses were glaring, especially against the Pacers, where Indiana posted an effective field goal percentage of 69.5%, a high mark for the season. This trend worsened against the Magic, with the Knicks allowing a 71.1% shooting performance. Compounding these challenges, the Knicks faced the absence of pivotal players such as Dante DiVincenzo, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Isaiah Hartenstein, further depleting their ranks. The All-Star break emerged at a crucial juncture for the team, providing a much-needed pause for recovery and strategizing as they aim to fortify their lineup and address their defensive shortcomings ahead of the latter half of the season. If the Knicks can field a healthy team, 
they have the potential to become a dominant force in the league. With a lineup comprising Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, OG Anunobi, Julius Randle, and Isaiah Hartenstein, the Knicks have shown their strength on the court, consistently outscoring opponents by an impressive margin of 17.1 points. The NBA has consistently shown that a healthy roster can defy expectations and produce remarkable outcomes. Last season, the Miami Heat overcame injury challenges to make a surprising run to the NBA Finals as the eighth seed. Similarly, the Cleveland Cavaliers have rebounded this season, despite key players like Darius Garland and Evan Mobley facing extended absences. Therefore, there's still hope for the Knicks to turn around this season. What are your thoughts on DiVincenzo's recent performances? Let us know in the comment section below.